The main objective of today's training on nutrition is to provide the, the information and skills necessary for the EAs and FAs which we talk about um, extension assistant both agriculture and fisheries to be able to transfer those knowledge and experiences to the beneficiaries including for teachers and school children. Now SIAP is the acronym for Climate Smart Agriculture and Rural Enterprise Program. It is a six-year program. It started in 2018 and it will be going up to 2024. From a general perspective, SIAP is about collaborating with key stakeholders to um, provide support to beneficiaries in, in communities throughout Grenada, Carico and Piti Matnik. It's about, it's about empowering them to be climate resilient and to, to implement climate smart practices. Generally, SIAP is about building the capacity of the youth to establish new business or to improve existing businesses. It's about improving livelihood through climate smart practices. In terms of the CSA component, that is the climate smart agriculture component of the program, this is something that as a ministry, we readily embrace. And the reason being is because as a result of the numerous trainings that the ex agriculture extension and fisheries officers engage in, especially the one that we are doing today is focused on nutrition. And the aim is that we're going to go out there to our farmers and fishers and really help them to utilize our local products and, and so on to better enhance their meal. So um, basically, this training was done to encourage persons to eat healthy, to use like the local food products, um, to create the different healthy meals. Um, this program was a two-day program. Started yesterday, we had a presentation where we did some nutrition, nutrition terms, and we also did the food groups, and we also did the multi-mix. We learn about our food groups. We learn about proteins and carbohydrates and stuff like that that we could use um, to better enhan enhance our diet and our meal plan. And today we actually put it into practice. So we did some practical using our locally grown food from our backyards. And we had to do that in combination of a mixed meal and to separate, you know, have a balanced diet with our protein, our vegetables, and legumes. The information that we learn today specifically will help persons in the community by showing them, we'll be able to show them that the food that they grow, the food that they have, they can use it to make meals for them, themselves, their family, healthy meals. Um, they do not necessarily need to buy a lot of the processed food such as the macaroni and the, the, the tin stuff that's so high in sodium and um, saturated fats. But the, the foods that they grow in their own backyard, those foods are healthy. They contain the vitamins, the minerals that a human being would need to keep their body functioning healthy and effectively. <laughs> 